What's going on, everybody? Oh, it's nighttime. <laughs> Hold on, BRB. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm Animus J, and um, yeah, <clears throat> OBS. It reset. It reset everything, and um, <laughs> so I've cut all this video, and I'm running around talking to you right now from when I recorded it, but um. Uh, yeah, it didn't record any audio. It didn't record the game audio. It didn't record my audio. Um, so right now I'm talking about how um, Alpha built this and then Dark Knight, or Dark Knight, no, it's Alpha Knight, and Dark Absolute, Dark Absolute built that. Uh, so if you want to see their videos, which I hope that you do, uh, go check their videos out. Uh, but we're not we're not going to show that stuff because, you know, th that's what their channels are for. I don't need to show their stuff. So uh, in any case... I'm gonna do my best to narrate this, um, but the video is probably gonna end up way, 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 way shorter. And and I hope this audio right now is coming out okay. Uh, but so, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So basically, um, Dark Absolute, he found some bamboo in a ship. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, we're headed to the villager. You remember last week? Um, we converted the zombie villager, right? Okay, so Frankie, here he is right here. And then um, we have some paper, right? So we're gonna get some emeralds, okay? Now, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I might be doing something stupid right now. I might have might have screwed stuff up. So we locked out his paper trade. I don't know if that's a permanent lockout or if he resets that at some point. And so right now I'm talking about, do we need to buy a bookshelf from him? What do we need to do? Okay, and then, but I don't have enough emeralds and I need six to buy a bookshelf and I'm thinking maybe that's gonna reset him, but we're, you know, I'm gonna find out here pretty soon that it doesn't. So instead what we do is uh, we, I need another, I need more emeralds, right? So, so I go, I get more emeralds, I come back and I find out that when you hold up emeralds, this dude holds up what he can trade, which is pretty amazing, right? He's only got the, the library books available, but when I hold up emeralds, he holds up, uh, you know, a library, uh, the, the books, the bookshelf. That's what it's called, the bookshelf. Um, so I thought that was, I thought that was pretty neat. Um, so, uh, we have one more trade now before he hits level two, and I'm thinking, okay, maybe he's gonna hit level two, and then, and then he'll unlock the paper trades. Plus, we needed him to be level two anyways, because we're trying to figure out what that book is, what that enchanted book is that he's got to trade. Uh, now, I didn't have enough emeralds, I needed one more, so we go to Alpha's, uh, place, and we borrow one from Alpha. Now, just to show that I did indeed borrow one from Alpha and not steal one from Alpha, I made a little IOU one emerald, Animus J, put it in there in his chest, um, and I did only take the one, I didn't show that, but you're, <laughs> you're just gonna have to trust me on that one. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, hold on, let's skip this, we'll head, we'll head over there really quick. All right, so we come back and we're we're trading with this guy, and he's uh, he's level two now, and we get fortune two for what is that? Fifteen emeralds. Uh, the screen that I'm looking at is really small right now. It's a little bit harder for me to see because I'm narrating this. <clears throat> but uh, we got some bookshelves. He's level two. We got fortune two, which is which is pretty good. Uh, it's not amazing, you know, but it's pretty good. So. Uh, as I had started to say earlier is that Dark Absolute, he found some bamboo in a sunken treasure ship, or a sunken ship, a sunken, a treasure? In a sunken ship. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. I, I'm not sure why I came back to this guy. I think I'm just talking about things, trying to figure things out. I'm, I'm going to have to look up a video, like I said, about how the trading with these guys works now. Um, in any case, so what I want to do is, because we need, we want lots of bamboo in order to make, um, what is it called? Scaffolding. And so I have an automated farm uh, for Java Edition that I made, and the majority of it works the same here on Bedrock, but there's some minor differences. So I am gonna do another tutorial just for Bedrock. Oh, right here, I was trying to figure out what that block was because it looked really weird. It's an andesite wall. Uh, in any case, so we're, we're gonna put the bamboo farm in these spots along the wall, kind of like they're a part of the wall, like a decoration on the wall. And then they're just gonna be automatically collecting um, bamboo. And then, um, so, in any case, if we uh, skip ahead here, there's a couple differences that I that I found out between Bedrock and Java that uh, made my farm just a little bit 
different, not significantly, it just kind of affected uh, the redstone a little bit. So here I'm talking about the difference and that's uh, in Java what I did was I set the hopper minecarts on top of the hoppers uh, with no rails or anything and then the sand was in the same block as a hopper minecart But you can't do that here because as you just saw when you set the sand down when it hits the hopper It actually breaks the sand block now that doesn't happen on Java uh, So we had a basically what we're gonna end up doing is we're going to lower Everything by one block and then we're going to leave the hopper minecarts there um, Which I, it looks like I'm doing that right now and then we put the sand over the hopper minecart because when you leave the rail there, the sand does stay suspended over the rail. Now, um, what, I'm, what I'm pointing out right now is that we can't get to the chest, uh, but what I'm thinking of doing is we'll feed this into a water system, all the drops, all the dropped bamboo, and then we'll run it underground into our village and then have it go into storage somewhere in there. So the bamboo is gonna be right here and then behind it will, oh, <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Freaking pig just hiding out in the wall. Um, so anyways, we're gonna put a dispenser behind this and then that's gonna spit out bone meal on a clock and then what it'll do is it's going to grow up to a certain height and then a uh, an observer is going to see when it hits a certain height and then a piston that's right above this dispenser is going to cut it off from the second block and, and higher uh, and then it'll all come crashing down and get collected. Okay, so I have the piston in place and the observer is in place. So that's how tall the bamboo is going to grow. Um, and then what I did is I just did a little um, redstone torch thing coming down in order to get the power from the observer down uh, and I had to do a little bit of uh, extra work just because observers are so unreliable in bedrock that you can't just take the pulse straight off the observer like you can in Java so we had to go into a repeater into a block and so on and so forth and down but uh, you should see that when I put a block in front of the observer, which I think I'm gonna do right now Come on Jay, what are you, do what are you doing? What are you talking about man? <laughs> I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm showing off the redstone right now Yep, it comes down and then down and then it powers up the piston. Come on. Just get out there I, I really don't know what I was taking so long to explain it's, maybe That's why I have trouble making videos sometimes. It's just talk too much. Uh, okay, I think I think we're gonna put a block now Yeah, 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 okay, so there we go. Okay, so BAM and then you see right there the piston punched out break it It punches again, so so that's working So now when the bamboo reaches the level of the observer it's gonna get punched out by the piston So then uh, I think I put a little bit of bone meal into the chest. Yeah, yeah, I'm testing it out I think I put the clock on it um, it seemed like it was eating the bone meal abnormally fast, but you can see there, it's bone mealing it up, hits the observer, gets punched out. Now it does double uh, tick on the piston because the bamboo hits the observer and executes, and then when the observer sees that the bamboo is now missing, it executes again. Um, but you know, that's fine, that doesn't, that doesn't ruin anything. So uh, what we need to do, what I did, is just a simple little clock back there, and then we got a, a chest uh, in order to store all the bone meal. Uh, but so the next step is to close all of this up and actually make it look nice uh, so that it looks like it's actually a part of the wall. And that's what we have right here. So I used a combination of stone bricks and then smooth stone and then obviously you see the glowstone in there. Uh, a couple of andesite stairs which I, I, I ended up doing a little a couple more andesite stairs. Um, but just kind of tried to make it look almost like it was a supporting pillar, uh, supporting the wall a little bit, even though Alpha has the supporting pillar right there next to it, but we wanted it to look like it was semi-structural. You know, we didn't want it to be just this thing sticking out of the wall, we wanted to make it look like it was actually part of the wall. Um, so I think it looks pretty good. I might tweak it a little bit more, and I put that half slab over the door, but I ended up taking it away because um, I wanted to, I wanted to be able to get to the trapdoor to get to all the bamboo uh, until we sort out, you know, what we're gonna do with the bamboo. So I think it's looking pretty nice, and then we're gonna do another one right here eventually, but we're gonna have to clean the landscape up a little bit. 
uh, which I think Alpha already put that there in order to make the wall, because he was talking about having the wall built into the mountain. So, um, in any case, you know, from a distance, it looks good. You know, it gives the, the, the area a little bit of light, doesn't look so dark and gloomy. Um, kind of gives something else to look at when you're looking at the wall. And then that's going to keep on running either until it runs out of bone meal or what we're going to do. I, I don't know why I'm looking at myself right now. I'm talking about something probably important. Oh, I think I'm telling you guys that this was going to be a short video because I was on vacation over the weekend and through Monday. And then literally the moment I came back from vacation, I had work to do for my side business. So um, this video is a little bit rushed, but... And now it's even more rushed because of OBS. Thanks, OBS. Um, in any case, so what we're going to do, we're going to put a door right here. Um, just kind of worked out. It's kind of a cool little hidden spot. And then we put a lever. I don't know if I put the lever down there on camera, but basically you put a lever there above the, uh, the clock. And then that enables you to turn it off or on if we need to turn it off because this thing collects bamboo like crazy. Actually, let's, let's go ahead and go forward to where we have a collection. Okay, so uh, Dark Absolute ended up joining us and I went off and I got a bunch more bone meal and I left it running for a little bit. Now I just added some more bone meal into it. Uh, and you can see it just shoots right up to the top, gets broken and shoots right back up again. So if we check in the chest, look at that. I mean, that's several stacks. It's, it's coming in really, really fast. Um, not even a few minutes. I mean, literally just long enough for me to go and collect a little bit of bone meal is, is how long it was running. So, you know, that's awesome, and Dark falls in the hole. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's gonna give us tons. We'll have tons and tons of bamboo, literally off just this one farm. Um, but I'm still gonna build one more at least, um, if not two more, three more, uh, and, and that's just depending on the wall. Maybe what we'll do um, is, instead of having them all be bamboo, maybe what we can do is the next spot over will be sugarcane, and then around from that another bamboo and then another sugar cane um, you know keeping with the same design and look the only thing with sugar cane is it doesn't grow as tall as bamboo uh, but you know maybe we can make it two tiered in order to fit the same design but uh, in any case that's that's it guys that's that's it for this video I'm sorry for OBS hopefully this audio is not garbage because I'm actually using uh, my editing program in order to narrate while I'm watching this uh, and I'm going to try to clean the audio up as much as I can, but I can't make any promises. Uh, so anyways, thanks for sticking through it, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button if you really enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe. And that's it. I'm Anonymous J, and I'll see you next time.